A group of Uruguayans who survived a 1972 plane crash in Chile's Andes Mountains played a rugby match in Santiago on Saturday. The game marked the 40th anniversary of their rescue and they played the same local rugby team they were scheduled to play before the plane crashed. The mule driver who first spotted the crash survivors and notified the police also attended and part of the rescue mission was reenacted. The trauma of the crash still stays with the survivors who had to resort to cannibalism to stay alive for 72 days in the mountains. I think the sadness of eating a dead body was the greatest sadness of my entire life. I would ask myself, will this be worth it? And yes, it is for someone to live and conserve their life. I would want the same thing done if it had been my body dead on the ground. And a shared sense of spirit has endured between the survivors. It taught me that when we see something that's kind of difficult, we throw our hands up. It taught me that, in general, we choose to give up before we even begin. If somebody told me that you're going to be put on a mountain at an altitude of 4,000 meters, at 20 degrees below zero, wearing short sleeves, I would have said I'd survive 10 minutes. But on the contrary, I survived 72 days. A Hollywood film based on the crash and rescue called Alive was made in 1993.